Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create S3 bucket using AWS CLI. To create AWS CLI, we must have IAM role with S3 full admin access. Connect to AWS console, click on services, then search for IAM. See, I have these roles, click on users, click on create user, provide name, click on next. Attach policies, then search for S3. Select this one that is Amazon S3 full access. With this full access, we can create or delete S3 objects. Then click on next. Click on create user. Now open PowerShell or command prompt. If you want to install AWS CLI, then go through the link provided in the video description and install it. I have already installed, then open PowerShell. Then run AWS. See, we don't have so run AWS configure. Now we have to provide access key. We can get access key, click on user, then create access key. Use case, see, you have different use cases. Our use case is CLI. So select CLI and click on next. Check this checkbox for confirmation and click on next. Description tag value, I'm not giving anything. Just click on create access key. See, copy this access key, paste here. And then next, AWS secret access key. Click on this one, R show, then click on copy. Then right click and hit enter. Select region name based on your requirement. I'm going with the default one that is US East one. Hit enter, default output. Format, I am giving JSON. We have successfully connected to our AWS account. Now, verify list of S3 buckets. Command is AWS S3 LS. See, at present, I have one S3 bucket. Let's go to S3 account and verify. Click on services, search for S3, click on S3. See, at present, I have one S3 bucket. We can also create by using console, but our video purpose is using CLI. So, first I will show you the syntax. See, this is the syntax. Create bucket, then we have to provide bucket name. These are the options. You can go through the options. This is the example. Don't give bucket name as this one because it won't accept. Let me create a bucket. AWS S3 API create bucket then hyphen hyphen bucket. Here we have to provide bucket name. I am giving bucket name as R2 admin 1 2 3. This should be unique across all AWS accounts. Then you have to provide region. I am giving us hyphen east one. Hit enter. See, we have successfully created. Now go buckets. Click on this refresh button. Until now we have one, but we have created one bucket using AWS CLI. Click on refresh. See, we have S3 bucket, but the user is having S3 full admin access. Suppose if you remove, open another AWS console. Go to management, then go to IAM. Click on users, click on the username. See, this is the policy name. Remove it, remove the policy, refresh. Now go to console and try to create another S3 bucket. I'm giving name as 1234. This will throw error that is access denied. See. An error occurred that is access denied while calling create bucket operation because we have removed the policy. Now we can add the permission policy. Click on user, then click on, then here click on this add permissions, then select add permissions. Click on attach policies directly. Here search for S3, then select this one and click on next and click on add permissions. Now we can 
add or remove. Go to the console and run the same command. Sometimes it may take time. Wait one or two minutes and run the command. See, we have created another bucket. Now go to buckets, click on refresh. See, we have another bucket. We can also delete the buckets by using AWS CLI. Command is command is AWS delete bucket then bucket then we have to provide name of the bucket that is r2 admin123 hit enter see entire command is wrong so aws s3 api then delete bucket hyphen hyphen bucket then name of the bucket that we want to delete that is r2 admin1234 see no output so it is success let's verify can verify by running AWS S3 LS. LS means list. See, we have two buckets. Here also click on this refresh button. See, that is gone. We can also create by using console. That is this one. Click on create bucket. Then provide R2 admin 1, 2, 3. I am not going to change anything, just click on create bucket. We have successfully created buckets. Click on buckets. See, we have the bucket. Again, run AWS S3 LS. See, we have the new bucket. Let's upload objects to recently created bucket. Click on any bucket then click on upload or click on upload click on add files select the image click on upload see we have successfully added one object let's verify which of the objects in this bucket the first method is by using console click on particular bucket see we have one object we can verify this by using CLI Control and to clear the screen, let's verify the objects. Command is AWS S3 LS S3 colon. Whatever the commands I am executing in this video are available in the video description. Then bucket name. Bucket name is this one. Select it and paste that. Then hyphen recursive. Then human readable summarize see i have one object this is the object name in the same way if you want to check list of the objects in this s3 bucket aws s3 ls s3 to forward slashes then bucket name then copy this command, right click and hit enter. See, I have three objects, these three. Let's verify. Go to buckets, then click on the bucket. See, I have three objects. First one, MySQL, hello, HTML and index.html. Let's stop newly created buckets. Command is AWS. This is the command to delete. See, we got error because the bucket is not empty. So, this is the command to delete an empty bucket. See, this bucket doesn't have any objects. So, we can simply run this command. It will delete the bucket. Now, refresh. See, that bucket gone. Now, we are going to drop the bucket which is having objects. To remove non-empty S3 bucket, use AWS S3, remove, then S3, 
bucket name bucket name is this is the bucket name r2 admin 4 hyphen hyphen recursive what this command will do it will remove the all objects from this bucket this type you have to be very careful while giving the bucket names hit enter see it deleted the this object click on the bucket refresh see that object gone now we can delete s3 bucket by using this command or simply run aws s3 rb s3 r2 admin 1 2 3 4 hyphen hyphen force see remove bucket rb means remove bucket it's gone let's go to the buckets refresh see that bucket also gone also here we can verify aws s3 ls see there is only one s3 bucket so in this video we have seen how to create s3 bucket using aws cli then we have seen how how to remove empty s3 bucket then we have seen how to remove now empty s3 bucket for more aws or devops videos please subscribe my channel thank you